Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. We are back with our adventure in Evoland Legendary Edition. This is Evoland 1. We are in the ruins in search for the other piece of the medallion that's going to allow us access into the tower, which is going to um, let us face the big bad evil guy, basically. Um, we have to search this ruins and see if we can find that the best is our ability that's going to allow us uh access and hopefully um oh yeah look at that we got a combo hit now sweet and we got a ring of fire i don't know what that does so oh that's some nasty little uh attacks that's pretty nice so we do get the, the ability to switch our character now. That's uh, one of the things I can. Oh, we got a whole different thing in here. Wow, this is really upped our uh, kind of action adventure uh, RPG action RPG style here. Uh, nice little inventory, and I believe no, I don't want to go to the same menu. Somehow, I was thinking we could switch characters at some some way, shape, or form, but I do not recall how to do that. So let's go in here and play this and get rid of all these big bag spidery things. Necklace of the Eagle. Well, that's kind of cool. 2% uh, to dodge chance and a fire. Five. What is it? Five plus fire to five. Plus five to fire resistance. If I could talk, that would be much helpful. Um, this game is continually kind of updating as we go, adding more mechanics. Uh, I know I've talked extensively about this in the prior episodes, but I really like the way they do it and the way they handle it is in the way that you get new mechanics. I do not want to. I was thinking there was another uh, menu I can get to here, but uh, the way the mechanics are introduced is a nice, easy way to um, kind of show new things and introduct introduced new things without really having like a tutorial or you being confused about something you can just uh watch it and uh, kind of get explained as it goes and as they introduce uh you know new items and stuff so these treasure chests usually give me something special a uh, new mechanic or uh they'll also like that upgrade the uh, kind of the mechanic style or the uh, what's the word I want to use the not really the mechanics but it's the graphical uh, kind of the mechanics on the game level as we are evolving up through the generations of games and adding new things in that aspect uh, makes the game a very interesting kind of one-of-a-kind thing uh, something I have not ever seen in a game before which is kind of a shame because I really like how they do it uh, In this game and we're getting all kinds of new creatures here uh, Let's try not to stand in front of that fire blast would be probably much much helpful We're getting all kinds of money. This is a very um, I wouldn't say straightforward um but it's a very like Diablo-esque feel to the, um, you know, uh, adventure RPG or action RPG style of gameplay. Um, I'm not getting hit in at all, really. What did I get? Belt of the Legend. 10% to grinding speed? Is that what it said? That's interesting. Um, so as we go through... Uh, the game it has uh, kind of uh, Well, it definitely has evolved, but it is also um, You know kind of split into an action RPG through half of it and then the other half is in a um, A turn-based RPG, so it's a very interesting style 300 damage stones and walls. What's this other thing that we got? 2% to dodge chance. That's kind of nice. These things do not seem to be giving me much trouble, which is very nice. I like that. Let's see what we get this time. 
I got a card. Yay, I have not been able to play the card game yet, but I do know that there is a a card game in which you can play in this game and uh, allows you to, I think, win more gold if I remember correctly. I have played through this game all the way, but it has been a while, so uh, I have forgotten most of, uh, you know, the, the additions or most of the uh, game, not gameplay, but most of, you know, what, what happens in, in every little detail of the game. We're trying to just find what we need to find here. I wish, you know, there are parts in this area and now it's kind of nice in some aspects as you are, um, you know, you have these big areas that are open and devoid of enemies and then you come into a room and there is a ton of enemies. Now I kind of like that in one aspect and I kind of don't in another. Um, Big open areas like this is kind of nice if you have to run back because there is a big mob of enemies coming at you uh, eventually. Uh, but um, in the other aspect of it, it is not quite as fun uh, because you are walking through a large area with, you know, nothing happening and it's a little slow in spots. Ooh, Drake's armband. I don't know what that does, but waiting for him to shoot off that next fire. Um, there we, oh, we missed him. These, uh, melee combatants don't seem to be doing much damage to me. There we got a save. That's all, always good to find a save space. But, uh, one of the things that I have as we are evolving, or not evolving, walking through this dungeon, trying to find our way, there's one thing that I've been thinking about doing on the channel that I would like to get everybody's opinion on. Oh, we got a mini map. Sweet. This is going to make it much easier to go through the dungeon. Um, one thing that I was thinking about working on, uh, you know, like a little, what's the word? A, um, like a, almost a mini series or a little series of games that I was thinking about doing, um, or videos, I guess, uh, is a, there has been a lot of games that have already been uh, released that are, you know, in the retro, modern retro style. And a lot of those have been extremely popular and, you know, are, are just great, to be honest with you. They're, they're amazing games. And, uh, you know, I would like to show them off. Now, I, you know, kind of in the way the, well, the general, um, I wouldn't say consensus, but the general um, way of doing the YouTube videos is always sticking with the newest and most recent games. And you, um, you know, kind of go off the popularity of you know the most recent game released now the unfortunate thing about that is like i said there's a lot of old games that are very good and very good in the matro modern retro scene and i kind of want to cover those because if i'm a channel dedicated to you know the modern retro style i feel remiss not to cover some of these games that are very good uh a lot of them are straight up very good indie games and just happen to be uh in the style of modern retro and i'm thinking about doing these little series uh where i will do three or four videos of you know a specific game just to kind of highlight it i don't would not plan to do a uh you know a full playthrough in these games it's almost like a in case you missed it kind of idea in that if you haven't seen or do not know of one of these old games some of them have been very popular some have not but they're all would be good and something i would recommend 
Did that say knee pad of arthritis? That's kind of funny. Let's see what that was. I want to know what that is. Knee pads of arthritis. Yeah. 10% loot gathering speed. That is absolutely hilarious. Uh, turns its user into a dragon. Interesting. Ring of luck. I can like that. And then uh, plus point one defense on the ears. I didn't know they could hit my ears, but you know, you know, I always want def defense on my ears. I like to listen. I like to hear. So yeah, having that extra defense on my ears is really good. Um, so, you know, these games that have been, you know, released two or three, four years ago are great games. And really a lot of them are iconic and the way they did the modern retro is, you know, they were, um, they were not only good, but kind of influential. Some of them were in, you know, uh, later modern retro and kind of, uh, how they do it, you know, the, the right way to do this kind of modern retro design and, uh, that sort of thing. And, you know, I would like to take a look at some of these and go through them. And like I said, I would do, you know, three or four um, videos on one game just to kind of give you a flavor of it and get you, you know, is this something that you would be interested in if you have not heard it? So that, you know, it would be like an in case you uh, missed it kind of series where I do, you know, three or four videos. So. If you are interested in something or that sounds like something that you might be interested in, let me know and I will, you know, start that sooner rather than later. So definitely let me know in the comments if that's something that you would like to see. There is a lot of games that I have played through uh, because I've liked the modern retro kind of genre for a while. And I've picked up several games in that, um, you know, I don't know if it's a genre uh, officially or not, but in that realm, uh, I've picked up several games and uh, they, a lot of them have been very good and I would like to show them off. So uh, if something like that, a kind of an in case you missed it series is something you would uh, enjoy or like, uh, then definitely let me know in the comments and I will definitely start that up So yeah, uh, a lot of these games would be just games that have been um, I don't know either popular or um, You know kind of defining in the modern retro like I said uh, something that was um, You know kind of how it's done right uh, and then other ones would be like there's been several remakes over the years I, uh, I would say in my opinion in the modern retro kind of idea a You know, you've got a lot of different Re's in this kind of thought process you got you remakes Remasters and like maybe even a reimagining which is kind of on the same level as a remake a lot of times um but i would think remakes uh or rema uh remakes or reimaginings would still be considered modern retro um just because it it's it's in my opinion what modern retro is about you take an older game and kind of uh, remake it with new mechanics or a reimagining with newer uh, style um, a more modern style and that's in my opinion what this is all about now these light these uh, uh, magic users are actually kind of difficult to deal with so let's see if we can get around these guys so that's usually what I think of um, and those are definitely uh, within the uh, modern retro concept. Now, remakes are not so much in my opinion. I am now fully equipped. I feel heavy. Okay. 
Wow, I picked up all kinds of stuff. Wow. That's kind of interesting. I didn't realize that I'd pick that up so quickly. Um, but, um, re or no, wait, remasters, I don't think do, because typically remasters fall in the category of keeping everything the same, but just improving the graphics. Uh, we got, oops, we summoned someone we shouldn't have. The master ordered me to stop you. He will soon rule the world and I will be the chief of its armies. The power of the crystal will not protect you this time. Prepare to die. So let's see if we can kill this guy. I don't think we'll be able to just stand up to him. Uh, he definitely, wow, he definitely kind of mopped me up there a little bit. Let's see if I want to get around him. Um, can I like stay? He's coming right there we go kind of wanted to hit i do not seem to be doing any damage to him um uh, and i'm not sure why oh uh he is like on me like i cannot get away from, there we go we got a little bit away from him i didn't seem to be doing too much damage to him and that's not good um run away run away i'm trying to get a little bit of room between me and him hopefully um, so that I can kill some of his bats. He does that attack or so. Oh, come on, get out of there. I need to get him to do, come on, can I just, ah, there we go. We're getting a little bit of damage on him, but definitely not more than what he's doing to me. Uh, ouch. So what we're gonna have to do is try to avoid him, maybe until he sends out some more bats because those bats allow us to get a some health uh, I think this will be a lot of a running kind of uh, scheme so yeah there's been a lot of a push to not only make new retro uh, modern retro games to inspire or not to inspire that's not the word um, you know, there's been a push to make these modern retro games because they seem very popular for nostalgia's sake, but they also uh, do great with, um, I'm trying to get away from this guy again. Um, some of them are, you know, just straight up good games without regarding to the fact of the, um, you know, the, the nostalgia as aspect of them. Come on, buddy. He is just, I can, I need to be able to run. There's just, just a, a simple fact here that I need to be able to run. You really need to be able to cast something else. I wonder if I could just, he, he's at a spot where, ah, he started shooting that magic. Uh, the uh, magic I didn't think would hit me where he was. So got a little bit off of him there. I'm trying to wait until he gets his little magic Leal thing again. Maybe I have to be certain distance from him before he'll do it. I want to be able to roll or dodge or something. I need that though really badly. There you go. Got 20. That's not enough. That is definitely not enough. He keeps on swiping at me. I want you. Here we go. That way I can get away from him a little bit when he does that. Oh. Kind of was hoping that uh, he shoots out some more of those bats because that's definitely what i need him to do i need more health give me some help man help me out ah! here we go here we go got something i got something there look at all these bats to follow me up here come on give me some health no nobody gave me any health ah! i probably should use that rampage or the uh the multi-kill aspect once i get all those bats to get to hit him with more damage that's probably the kind of the thought process here you know what give me some more bats i really would like to have some more here we go give me around here the bats will stay on me whereas he will at some point stop i need that Ooh, yeah come on get out of here Oh, I need that. 
So that multi-kill definitely helped me out there. It definitely, that was pretty good attack, I believe. Ouch, I should not have got hit by that. That was just silly of me. I'm gonna have all kinds of money by this time, by the time this is over with. I need more bats. I need more bots. That yeah, that multi-kill is definitely gonna help me. So I need to get like kill all the bats at one time and then go after him. There we go. We did not too bad there, but I am really low on health. I don't think he'll cast more bats when I have oh no he will. I was gonna say I didn't think he was gonna cast me more bats when while I'm uh uh what's the word come on i have bats out oh that's gonna give me a lot of bats there i want you to shoot because i'm kind of stuck here because if i swing he's gonna swing at me Let, uh, i need that oh that's gonna be helpful as well that's what i want him to do is stop that come around here we're playing ring around the rosy here a little bit but that's all right That's definitely gonna help. Oh, I can take this guy. It just will take a little bit of time, I think. The undead king. Although I would think an undead king would be sending out a little bit more than just bats. I feel like an undead king would be more like skeletons or zombies. Although it kind of reminds me of like just the idea of the undead king uh Kirk starts with a K I can't think of his name in Diablo 2 I believe there's a or was it one one of the uh bosses that you had to beat was a like a um I get him stuck on that a little bit here we go um one of the bosses that you had to fight was a king that was King Uric King Kurik uh, one of the bosses was a king that was like cursed and he was like a skeleton Oh, right, come on cast more bats because I definitely need health Not fireballs bats Bats help me out. You know, you're supposed to help me out defeating you, right? Give me what I need. I always found that kind of amusing in games sometimes is they like they cast or do what you need uh to kill them. I always thought that was kind of funny. Um, I, oh, I didn't think I got any health on that one. Not a single bat dropped any health there, man. And that feels bad. <laughs> We're just playing ring around the rosy here. Whoop. Nope, nope, I don't want that. I wish I had a ranged attack or something I could switch to, but it really doesn't appear that I have I would love to be able to shoot him with the bow. Come on. Here we go. More bats. Oh, I could use. Oh, I need more than 30. Come on, man. Right, there's a little bit, but definitely is getting a lot of wastedness in here. My health is very low. Well, that, uh, what's the word? The, uh, gravestone protecting me there. I want bats, not like blue fireballs. Come on, give me bats. Give me bats. Cast bats. There we go. Thank you. That was appreciative. Here we go, a little bit more. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. I am not sure how to defeat this guy. I mean, he definitely, there is a, a oh, I got him that trap, kind of had him trapped there uh, where he was standing against that uh, stone or the gravestone. Come on, we can do this. Get him, get him, get him. He is hitting me with his punches, but... Okay, get out of here. Ah, 
I'm waiting for the fireball. Oh, I need that. I need that. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, shit. Yeah. There we go. He is very close to death. Can you, can you kill an undead king? I mean, is that possible? I'm going to assume so, but if he is undead, then I would think that he would also like, I don't know, <laughs> be able to like withstand death. I really need him to cast some bats here. Come on, we can do this. Here we go. Give me some health bats. Oh, that actually lined up really nice there. Let's go at it. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we got him. Sweet. That was a kind of a tough battle. Something happened somewhere. I love that. Mm, that's kind of poking fun of itself in other, you know, role playing games or adventure games that you, uh, do something, accomplish something, and then like something off screen happens, and you gotta go find it. Where do we, what, what do we get? Oh, is this the other relic piece? Yeah, second part of the amulet, sweet. All right, now we got another chest. A magical chest appeared, ooh, town portal. Sweet, that makes it easy. Makes it very easy. Let's see if we can just buy up all this stuff now. I have, uh, get the fast DVD player. Bye-bye, slow CD loading times. We won't regret you. Let's buy the silver armor. And then buy, I don't quite have enough. I'm gonna grab, you know what? I'm not going to grab anything right now. I think I'm okay. Do I? We keep our spirit highs despite what is happening. Do we, oh, there we go. We can play a friendly game of double twin. Let's try. Choose the deck you want to play against. You'll unlock more decks if you win. So let's try easy. And the way this game works is I place a person down. Like this card right here has uh, four numbers on it. So I place the card down somewhere. And if he places a card where the number on the, the side that matches up is higher than mine, then he wins. So like, um, well, six, six, and seven, that's pretty high numbers all around. So let's put him in the middle. That's going to be a good start out. Oh, seven. So if it's a tie, it nothing happens. But you see he has a three there on the side. Um, any one of my characters except for this guy would win. Um, let's put, definitely don't want to put my high guys up. Let's put him there and that allows me to beat his snake. It turns it into my card, basically. Oh, that turned it right back in there. Um, something that has four, I don't know. If we play all our guards, I think if I remember correctly, and whoever has the most at the end is most color uh, wins. Okay, that really didn't help him out. Let's put him here and that'll let him, that'll give me that card. And then whatever he places next, I still have one more. Well. That's not going to be good for me because that card's a high card. Uh, which means my little guy will lose, but I still think I have more to... I win, yeah, because I have more color on the board. So there we go. And that's a nice game. You got card player. Woohoo! So now can I play... Yeah, so now I can play an easy or a medium game as well. I don't really want to play another game. But see, yeah, no more loading times. Woohoo! We are going to go back and talk to the father, I think, and that's going to be our episode. See what we need to do next. Probably is going out to the town. Can I oh, talk talk to him? I think this is what we need to do. There we go. Well done. You have the whole amulet. You can enter the Black Citadel. Yep. You'll find it just east of 
Aogi, oh, Aogai just past the river. Good luck. Well, there we go. We got to go to the black. Why is it always a black citadel? Why is it not like a black house or a black, a black apartment complex? Uh, I don't know. All right, there we go. We have got the amulet and we are going to head to the Black Citadel, hopefully to defeat the evil within in the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.